What is up everybody, Ronnie here from Canva and welcome to another tutorial special CCC edition. Today I have a very special show for you and when I say special, I mean special. Today my guest is Mr. Ramon Quintero from uh, Rochester, New York. He's joining us today. Ramon is a graphic designer. He works for his church uh, as a graphic designer, so helping with the church you know, like all graphic design and right now during this stay at home period is also helping put together this live streaming so that the show can go on in the church for uh, people who want to practice. So Ramon is going to be here with us today for a good half an hour. Uh, Ramon, are you here? And what are we going to learn with you today? Hi, Ronnie. So today we are going to be learning about just different techniques different things that I look at, different things that I do to prepare a project and a, a um, uh, graphic that I've shared on Canva. Um, so we'll, we'll go through some of those those steps in terms of what websites I go to, what fonts I use, um, where I get inspiration from. So that will be a combination of the things that I will be doing today um, in today's segment and covering um, this uh, poster that I'll be creating. Ramon, my first question to you, with so much going on on social media, you know, so much content, people throwing through their feeds all day long, how do you stop the scroll? Like, how do you use graphic design to get people's attention? Yes, Ronnie, um, stopping the scroll is essential. It is a key. Um, and one of the best ways to be able to do that is to be able to just see what's trending, see what's working, see what's getting the highest numbers out there. Um, looking at different feeds from social media. Um, Instagram is my go-to place to be able to get inspiration, be able to see other artists, be other designers, and, and just be encouraged to see what can be done, what, um, what new tricks are out there, and, and then being able to implement them in my design. Um, yeah, Instagram has been my biggest influence in terms of my style and get ideas. So I highly recommend um, start following some designers, get inspired and, and start following them so that you could uh, just uh, continue to improve in um, the design aspect of how you do graphic design. Ramon, the community has been loving your tutorial, the stuff that you've put in the design circle, the different posts, the neon uh, tutorial, all this good stuff was really appreciated by the community. So, uh, I wanted to kind of invite you to be our guest for this uh, CCC tutorial series because I know you can teach us so many things. So today I would like to kind of put you in the lion's cage and, and ask you to design something for us in Canva so we can all learn from your workflow, from your process and from your creativity. So. If you're okay, I would like to put you in a little bit of a situation. Let's imagine that you've been contracted by a local cafe owners who needs to design a poster to tell his clientele that the cafe is not open for public, but we are still making coffee for takeaways. So how would you create that poster? I'd love for you to guide us through your, your process for creating such a poster with Canva. Would you? All right. So the task has been given a poster for a cafe and how to encourage them to uh, you know, know that we're still serving the community. We're still helping, we're still providing drinks, we're, we're pro providing food. And um, being able to create this poster, I, I think I, I'll walk through the importance of diving into getting a, a, a consistency in the brand, um, a logo, um, a particular style. Where do I wanna set this? Do I want to promote people? Do I want to promote a place or a building? Um, so let's dive in. Let's dive in into this project and I'll go ahead and I'll start talking a little bit about where the logos inspiration came from, where I found my fonts and also some of the techniques that are found within Canva that you could apply for your um, for your next project. Um, this project is a little lengthy so let's just dive in right away and go from there. Um, hope you enjoy. So in this project, I am going to start off with a blank canvas. As you can see, I have just a simple idea that I want to start off with, a cafe logo. I want to start off with the logo to see what direction I'm going to go with this particular project. I will say that I did take some time to 
kind of brainstorm on what direction I would go if I was to do a poster to promote a coffee drink or to just encourage people to come to my store and or my cafe to purchase a drink on the go. So with the blank canvas, I'm looking at um, a logo idea. So I'm gonna walk you through some of the process of what I do, uh, look for some ideas, some inspiration, um, then determine either some of the fonts that are within Canva or because I, ha I am using the pro version to be able to then um, download some and import them into Canva. But um, with that being said, let's just dive in and, and walk you through some of the basics. Um, I'm going through here, seeing some of the different examples on the templates that Canva already has to offer. Um, I like to start off with some inspiration. So I usually go and visit um, design inspiration. Um, in here, you'll see just a variety of different things that are happening with different designs. I would go in here and just say coffee logo. Um, and just get a, a feel for what's out there, what people have done, get some inspiration, kind of like what's going on here. Um, very unique with the fonts, some of the styles for the thunder and the coffee cup. And, and just get, in, get an idea, get, get a, a good um, scope of what's out there, what people are doing, um, what's eye catching. Um, and just go in here, I like the, the coffee bean, obviously that's always a popular um, icon when it comes to doing a coffee logo um, very much what I what's going on here so just I usually visit the design inspiration um, for ideas um, and after I kind of just search through um, I get a good feel like all right I think I would like to try and do something along the lines of you know something right here um, something right here um, and definitely something like with this particular style of big letters um, so I, I have three ideas right here that I kind of see that are favorable. So at this point, I, um, I do this part. And then from this stage, I like to then kind of determine what kind of font direction do I want to go. So I then go to this particular website. It is called Font um, Space. In Font Space, all of these fonts are either free or um, commercial free which is great because it works good for different projects that I would be doing so I would go in here and then I would start off with as you can see font space I would start off with this category right here which is commercial fonts in the commercial fonts um, I know that even if I pick a font from here I'm going to be in a safe zone I don't have to worry about copyright issues or anything like that and it's going to be um, something that I can import into Canva without no problem. So I would go in here and just and just browse, kind of see the different fonts. Um, I would even sometimes put a letter on here and just say cafe, um, just to see an idea of what what are some of the options. After I see something that I like, um, for example, I can continue to go on the next page and see what else I can get. But um, ideally, if I find something that I, I, I want to try out, like this one right here, I would then just go and click on this and see some other examples on here. I would then have the option to download, which is going to be right here, and I would download the file. At this point, I would download it, um, go into Canva, um, go back in here, and, and then import it into my, my fonts. Um, which I already did that process. I, I went through, got some examples of different fonts that I really like um, that stood out and I ended up downloading them into Canva. Um, so they're ready for me to use when I choose them. So I'm gonna start off, um, I am gonna be doing a poster, but I'm gonna start off with just a quick logo and then go right into the poster. The poster, I have it set up right here. As you can see, 24 by 36 poster, Canva, blank Canva. I'm gonna start off with the logo and you'll see why I'm gonna start off with this one to be able to brand the overall concept of this poster. So let's start off with that. And I'm gonna, I, I do have a folder that I put all a lot of the elements that I want to use for this particular project. Elements that I have found in Canva. So as you can see right here, elements. You can see some of the elements that I've been messing around with, um, YouTube, clouds, dots. Um, so some of these things are in here as a recently used. So I was kind of looking for some of these um, leaves, some beans, um, this um, 
stamp right here or badge um, and some of the other things that I really like about um, the um, some of the elements in Canva so let's go ahead and work off of this badge right here and I'm gonna go with the image the same thing with images I also took some time to browse through some different images that dealt with coffee some of these are the recent ones so I'm gonna go with the recent ones right here and just go search through some of these and I ended up going with this one right here so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in um, and adjust the the color of this particular one um, because I do want to make it a little bit darker so I want to go ahead and adjust that right now um, and see something that would work for me um, I'm gonna keep playing around with this particular image and see what exactly I want to do with that um, so let's just continue to just tweak this color um, to something a little bit darker um, with a little bit more boldness um, in the color so let's do that um, and lose uh, and I think I want to stick with that so I'm gonna leave that the way that it is there's the background I'm gonna change the color on this one I'm gonna add something from that particular palette and make it just a little bit darker um, so that I could uh, just a little bit darker and I'm gonna go with a a darker tone of that um, to go with that particular in the inside I'm just gonna make it white go from there so it's starting to shape up I'm gonna just um, center all of this and for my particular example I'm gonna make up a coffee shop so I'm gonna call it Coco Java I like cocoa so I was like let's just call this coffee shop Coco Java so let's go ahead and choose our font choose our font here and call it um, I'm gonna make it the same color as the outline of that badge and I'm gonna call this Coco Java um, here we go and then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this logo uh, make it a little bit bigger for this example um, bring it in on the size um, and make it all caps um, and let's go continue to work on this particular logo in, until I'm happy with um, again I imported some of the fonts already from where I got them from I showed you that earlier in the video and I went with this particular one so I'm gonna choose this one right here Coco Java and um, um, I really like this font I was able to bring that in um, again I got it from um, font space um, a free platform for different fonts as you can just check it out later um, as mentioned earlier in the video so I'm going to continue to tweak this make this re resize this make it a little bit bigger um, center everything all right it's coming together so Coco Java is beginning to look like a brand now I'm going to add a little bit more of a, of a style to it so again I added some elements in here in the search bar um, as you can see some of these elements one of the elements that I really like was this little line right here so I want to just um, make this line and bring it in um, here so that we could um, give it a little bit of style to this particular logo and I'm going to draw it in closer here we go and then I'm also going to give it the same color keep it in the same brand so here we go I'm starting to yep coming together and then um, one of the other elements that I saw were coffee beans and this was one that I really liked in terms of the coffee beans so let's go ahead with those coffee beans and just center it and put it right up there on the top for this badge um, center it same color again keeping it the same color and there we go it's starting to come together um, yes definitely really like how that looks like right there so this is coffee java the logo for this particular branding that i'm going to use for this poster um, and the style that i'm going to go with um, up next i am doing it this way so that now i can save this now that i got everything the way that i like i'm going to save this 
and save it with one of the features that Canva has, which is smart mockups. I'm going to share it there and you will also see, I'm not going to go through the whole process of smart mocks because, um, mark, um, markups because it's pretty much it's transfers over and then I can choose one and I'll show you the final product. I have an example in here that I can upload. Um, so I'm going to just hit save and I'm going to walk you through as quick as possible through this process right here. So after this downloads, you will see this option right here saying view and smart mockups. So let's go ahead and do that. In here, it's going to give me different examples. I am looking for a coffee cup um, so that I can utilize for my poster. That's why I ended up going here and right here. I want to do that one right there. So I'm going to adjust this right here and just bring it in so that it will just take up um, a good portion of that of um, my cup coffee cup and you can see it right there on my right as it adjusts right in there I'm still in good shape good shape good shape good shape good shape um, yep kind of favoring that right there I'm gonna go with that like it I'm going to say crop and continue. So now that I have done that, I am now going to save it right here. And I'm also going to download it so that I could have a high resolution on it. So I'm going to do um, high. It's going to download for me. Um, it's going to be in my um, in my download. So I'm going to go go ahead and back to um, my the poster that we were that we're going to be working on right now. I'm going to go ahead and upload that image that we um, got for the coffee cup. As you can see, I did a couple more, but I want to do the most recent one that we have done, which is going to be right here. I'm going to say open. It's downloading right here. We'll go ahead and delete these right here. So that way we don't get them confused with the other ones. Um, so that's right there. I'm going to bring that in, throw it in the middle. I'm going to go back to um, as it's downloading, you guys can see it right there downloading right now. So now I have the coffee, which I want to utilize, um, in the center for this particular, um, project. So I have coffee. I want to go ahead and also utilize, um, the word coffee, um, in my poster. So I want to draw attention that this is coffee. Um, so I'm going to just do this individually as a letter because I'm going to space it out um, to create uh, some texture, um, not texture, um, topography with this particular um, word. So I'm going to make everything all caps, um, all caps, and let's make it for right now 200. Um, there we go. Let's make it 200 right now. Um, with this being that, this is a, also, I'm gonna be using another font that I downloaded from that particular one, um, Random to Bold. Um, I want to go with this particular style for this coffee. So I'm gonna go just go ahead and move this to the bottom for right now and start just I'm working on the letters. So I'm gonna copy and paste and start um, writing, making the word for coffee and I want to adjust as I go and make sure that I am somewhat centered. Um, copy and paste. Um, let's go ahead and do that again. So right now I'm just writing the word coffee and I'm using spacing and the letters so that I can create um, the word coffee all spread apart um, to create this effect on this poster. All right, we're making progress. Uh, kind of like what I see there. I'm going to just group them all together because I do want them to not give me a hard time in terms of adjusting it and also with when it comes to color. I'm going to make them all um, all white. So here we go. We got one more left. Change it white. Let's make the background um, just black for right now. Um, again, the color that we use for this this color, we're going to just go ahead and take that uh, and bring it in on the other one because we want to make sure that we're able to utilize it again. Um, I'm going to hit save on this as well because I can find it again in my in my um, designs. So I'm going to go ahead and make another one right here. 
go to my designs because this is a, a good way to make a shortcut in terms of finding your all your designs um, it's gonna be generated in terms of um, nope not that one let's go ahead and this one right here um, yeah there we go so this poster right here has a logo right there but I'm gonna go with a different style for this poster so here we go we have the poster just advertising the logo and the brand of this particular business that I'm making up um, but I want to utilize that in the overall poster so there we go I'm able to pick up pick up the color again for this particular um, example so now that I have the the word that I wanted I'm gonna bring this to the front um, forward put it in the center I'm gonna try to make it just a little bit big in the center to draw attention to it I'm gonna center that right there and I'm also going to give it some um, shadow effect by duplicating this particular one everything centered right here um, I am going to be bringing the letters in just a little because um, I want to I want to draw them close together so let's do that group them and then the same thing with that and the reason I grouped them right there is to be able to use this particular tool, the position tool, which is ver the vertical tool right here, adjust everything. Um, now that I've adjusted the way that I want that to set, I'm gonna go ahead and ungroup them and then group them together. Um, so now let's go ahead and do that again on the cup, make it smaller um, and also make this just a tad bigger and position that in the center. All right. At this point, um, I want to uh, make the shadow for the cup, everything centered the way that I want. I'm going to duplicate that, copy, paste, and I'm going to make it um, now all black. And I do that, the easiest way to do that is just going into the effects for the duotone. I'll just choose random, whichever one, and I'm going to make them all. I'm going to make it black, and then I'm going to do the same thing. And you can see already I made it. Um, all one color I'm going to apply and now that I have that option I can now adjust where I want this to create the shadow effect um, and I'm going to do the opacity lighter and position this to the back of that and then um, I'm going to adjust where exactly I want that. So you may not be able to see it as good, so let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit on that. Um, on the background, you can hear my kids kind of just having fun um, going outside. Um, all right, let's adjust on the shadows and make it a little bit blurry. You can see the difference right there. No blur, blur. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of blur right there to give it that shadow a subtle touch on that um, so there we go um, we have that taken care of and I am going to continue to do um, the adjustment on the main picture because I do want to adjust that right there so I'm going to adjust that to let's make it a little bit darker to make it pop um, right there and then give it give it a little bit of more boost on the actual logo here we go something like that um, we can see that taking place um, give it a little shadow on the outside um, here we go all right it's coming together pretty nicely got shadows and now that I have that set up the way that I want I am going to I am going to adjust the two of these and I'm gonna group them together so I know that um, I don't have to worry about them um, anymore. So they're grouped together. I'm gonna lock that in so we don't have any issues down the road. I'm gonna also lock in the, the I'm gonna lock in with the texture in the back, the letters right there. Now I wanna use it in an image for this particular one um, for the actual poster. So before I choose an image for the background, um, I do have one picture in mind that I want to use, but I want to add one more phrase to this. So I want to go ahead and add that 
And um, for this particular phrase, I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and make the slogan um, that's going to be titled, here we go, let me zoom in on that part so that we can see it a little bit closer. Um, get the, here we go. So this one we're just going to say fresh, never tasted. Um, and we're going to do two of these guys, um, center it right here. Let's zoom on just a little bit more. Um, all caps again. Um, I'm going to go with a, the Lee Gothic on the font for this particular one. Fresh, never start, tasted, so good on the go. So that's what I'm going to end up doing for this particular one. Um, so here we go. Let's continue that and copy that and change the wording on that one. So good on the go. Exclamation point. Here we go. So slowly coming together. There we go. Um, make these stand out. We're going to position them in the center. We're going to keep going. I'm going to add a simple rectangle. I'm going to add this to the front just so that I know where this piece is at. And I'm going to just simply add this um, as a way to make the text pop on the top. I want to make emphasis on this particular um, phrase up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right here and um, duplicate it. Make two of these guys just like that. Position them in the center and position them in the center. There we go. And now I'm going to just go back one of those because I want the text to be in the front and I'm going to make the text color the same as the background color for this particular poster. So here we go. Now we have um, the slogan that I want to use for this for this project right here. I'm going to group that together. I everything centered the way that I want it. I'm going to group that, um, make it just a little bit bigger and kind of add that right there. Okay. So as of right now, things are coming together pretty nicely. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and just zoom out to make it fit. So I have fresh never taste, taste it so good on the go, making emphasis on that. I'm actually going to make that just a little bit smaller and position it in the center. All right, here we go. Got the brand, got the, the, the encouragement of, hey, we are still in business. We want to help you. We want to continue to serve um, the community. And this is just one of those slogans that I kind of just put together in this particular one. Um, I did notice that I did wanted to do something different with this logo right here. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the logo. I'm going to go with elements right here and just choose this. Um, there we go. It's working nicely. Um, I wanted to add this to the logo and I'm going to make this white. Um, kind of really like this style um, for for this leaf. So I'm going to position this to the back, middle, center, and to the back. There we go. Yes, definitely. I want to save that. And I'm going to do the same process. Um, go in here, save it. Um, it's going to save. It's going to ask me the same thing. I'm going to go through the same process, upload it, choose the template that I want in, in um, smart mockups, and then bring it back into the to the project for the poster. And I'm going to go ahead and choose that right there and bring it in um, and get it the same size as the other one. I'm going to zoom in so that you guys can see um, a little bit closer. Now this one has the actual pattern on it, which is what I want it. As you guys can see it right there. Pattern, no pattern. Here we go. Everything centered the way that I want it. And just to make sure that it is, I'm going to just make it transparent. There it is. Yep. It's what I wanted right there. So I'm going to go ahead and take the other one out, send it to the back, take this one out, adjust the, add that number that I just did. Perfect. Now, 
everything's accounted for. I have the pattern that I wanted. Um, I wanted that pattern because I wanted to add, I wanted to add um, a particular, a particular, um, particular leaf to this, this um, design. Um, so we will see that, that design right here coming together um, with the leaves. The elements um, that I used before are up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the elements right here. Here we go. I'm gonna use this one right here and make it white. I'm gonna zoom out to fit. And I want this to be somewhere down here. Um, so I'm gonna do something like this this number um, yeah something like that for this poster I'm going to duplicate that and bring it to the top and um, add, add it to um, the background there we go and make it just a, a little bit smaller and bring it in Kind of like, well, actually I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger too. Um, kind of like that, what it's doing right there. Okay, so on this one, I ended up doing the two leaves, kind of incorporating that and, and, and doing that. You can see some of the other elements that I was thinking of, um, kind of adding a, a, a texture over overlay for some of the grunge look for this poster. Um, but I'm missing the picture, so I, I have some images that I want to throw in the background. Um, so in the images, some of the images that I was searching by, coffee shops and this and that, um, there was one that I really liked, this one right here. I'm going to bring in that one in, just like that. Um, starting to shape up. Um, I want to um, adjust this image right here um, and give it some, some bold some boldness to to it so that we can make it pop so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust that image right there um, and and get the, the get the coloration for this image as, as, as best as we can um, and and just give it a little bit of vibrant so I'm gonna adjust the the colors on uh, the brightness to give it a little bit of more of a bold um, so I'm gonna adjust all of this up just to get it, uh, the look that I want. Kind of like what I see right there. I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna zoom in just a little, see what I got going on with this poster. Okay, it made the image kind of pop a little bit more, have a little bit more of a, uh, a bold color approach to it. Have my, my wording, have my, um, I have the things that I wanted in terms of the image right here. Um, some leaves all right I do want to add some other elements down here in this poster because I came across these elements in in Canva so it was like a coffee cup and a little barcode so I'm gonna go ahead and use that barcode and just bring it down here and kind of just give it um, it doesn't serve much purpose other than it just kind of adds a little cool effect for this particular um, poster style so I'm gonna go ahead and add that down here make it somewhat decent size doesn't have to be too big um, it's more for just uh, an element um, to use down here and then I ended up using this cup right here that I really like that as well again it doesn't have to have any any of the branding it's just um, more for um, just to add to the poster I'm gonna go ahead and make this even smaller and yeah something like that right there so here we go let's go to the fit coming together again I mentioned that I wanted to have some grunge um, look to this poster so I'm gonna go back to elements another element that I found um, was this particular one right here and I'm just gonna have it go over the entire thing and I'm gonna make it white um, kind of give it that feel and look to it right there yep I'm good with that that's it position in the front um, already so right now I can see um, poster coming together the way that I that I kind of wanted um, have the logo right here if I wanted to do that one I'm gonna go ahead and add the element that was missing on the other one which was the, the leaf pattern the big leaves pattern so I want to go ahead and do that right here as well um, and add that to the background position to the background um, so yeah I have now two posters 
that I can advertise this particular one, which is this right here, and this one at the coffee shop. Um, so again, this is two, um, two options for this particular idea in terms of um, coffee shop and what to do and to how to advertise it and promote it. So I'll go ahead and um, download these two in a, P in a uh, PDF, have them ready to go. Um, PDF ready to go, done. And I'm gonna make them for prints and there we go. Um, I'll go ahead and download them and you guys will be able to see the finished results um, in the comments or it as uh, one of the last slides for this particular project. Thanks for joining me in this project. Have a good one. Wow, Ramon, this was truly inspiring. Uh, I don't know where to start. Like you, you really impressed me by the way you were organized, by the way you structured your project. You started with the logo design, you researched your inspiration, your fonts, you come up with the logo and then you really blew my mind when you use the smart mocaps integration to actually turn this logo into a cup that you inserted into Canva in order to create the poster. That was genius. I, mean, I really love that. You just gave me uh, an urge to try the smart mocaps, to go there and create my own stuff uh, with smart mocap, integrated with smart mocaps. Uh, so that was genius. And then I also love the way you, you started building your poster around this cup and the typography, uh, the way you put the elements, you change your mind, you come back with the, the, the leaf patterns. This, the whole thing for me was super uh, inspiring. And I'm sure our viewers would have been inspired by your tutorial as well. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for this, for the time you took. So that's pretty much what's up for me. Uh, I hope you guys like this tutorial. And before we go, I want to ask Ramon, like, where can people find you, Ramon? Like, where can we learn more about you, about your work, your work with the church? Uh, where can we learn more about you? Yes, Ronnie, I do have somewhere where um, the community can follow some of my other things that I'm doing in the... Um, social media network. Um, I do have an IG account. Um, you can find me at Weekend Designs. Um, there I just use that platform to be able to create more graphics outside of Canva from different platforms, um, different softwares. Um, that So Weekend Designs is one of them. I also have a community that I just started actually last month called Canva for Church. And the reason that I am targeting that particular group of people is because I also work in a church and I've seen the importance of how Canva can play a big role in really helping the community within that um, within within that group of people. So yeah, if that is you, great. That community is called Canva for Church and it's a group that I just started last month. If you want to explore and learn more as I continue to um, build community in that group. Um, again, Weekend Designs is uh, my handle on social media. Look for that if you want to continue to follow some of my other designs. And thank you again, Ronnie, for having me. Um, it was a lot of fun. And that's it for me, guys. Please show some love in the comment section. Uh, tell Ramon what you loved about this tutorial. And we will have another CCC tutorial next week. So I'll see you there.